What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to use the landmass plugin to create awesome procedural landscapes and just very easily just drag and drop a material brush into your scene and you can see you can create different hills and stuff and literally procedurally create it so uh, you don't have to paint manually all these little bumps and stuff or use any type of high map and then this mountain just dragging it with a spline and changing some values of course this is really basic stuff it that you can change a lot of settings to make it look nicer but this is basically the, the core of it so with no further uh, explanation let's get started but first check out the link in the description to get our some unreal engine courses on WinFox. all right so i'm gonna start just creating a basic new level so i can show you a bit how it is i'm gonna go ahead and delete the floor okay so the first thing that we're gonna uh have to do is go into edit and then go into plugins and then we're gonna go ahead and search the land mass plugin and you will see that is here in beta so we just need to take this box over here now a warning may uh, pop up saying that well it is an experimental and stuff you say yeah okay and then you will see a side note over here saying we start the editor so you go ahead and click the restart button or cl manually close your editor and then open it again so now you will probably successfully have the landmass plugin now i'm gonna do one more thing uh just before we start doing anything and it's gonna go into the content browser i'm gonna go into settings and make sure that you have show engine content and show plugin content this is later on we're gonna use some brushes that are gonna be in the uh plugin section of the uh, Lamas plugin. So if you don't have that two things ticked on, you will not see them. Okay. All right. So now it's time to create the landscape. The landscape. Uh, so we're gonna go into selection mode over here. We're gonna go into the landscape mode. So we're gonna go a very simple landscape like this. It's gonna be cool. And make sure that you have enable edit layers enabled. This is very very important um, to enable to uh, use the landmass plugin. You know, I'm gonna leave everything as default. I just really don't care about anything. And I'll just say create. Okay, this is just to show you a bit how this works. Okay, so to start adding a landmass um, object or whatever you want into our landscape, we have to go into Blueprint. Okay, so now in Blueprint brush, we can select, and we will have three options over here. We have custom brush landmass, custom brush landmass river, and custom brush material only. So the first custom brush, which is a normal landmass, it's just a spline that will give you some settings and you can make, for example, mountains and a lot of different stuff, okay? Then the landmass river, well, it is exactly what it says. It's just a simple, I just dragging a river into it and just uh, getting the kind of the, um, the environment to match up, etc. Okay, the height and slope and stuff. And then we have the material only, which is the one that uh, we're gonna use today. Um, also, we're gonna use the landmass plugin to make some mansions, but you get the idea. Um, so we're gonna use the material only to uh, basically it's just applying a material to the whole of the landscape, and then we can make it personally uh, have bumps, etc. Like I show you in the intro. So let's go ahead and just uh, start with a normal landmass, so you can kind of see a bit how this works. Okay. So you have to select the brush, and then you need to click into your landscape. I'm gonna go ahead and click, and now you will see immediately we have. A tiny mountain over here with three, uh, three splines over here okay great so we can go even into selection mode so we have a bit more space um, and now we can select again our brush so you can see that it basically added a new object into our scene I recommend changing this uh, the name so I'm gonna make just a mountain uh, brush again okay? so we can uh, have it a bit more organized and then we can close the lighting and then there we go it's a bit better okay so now we can uh, start getting the you know the splines and start to drag them now this is the parent so it will move all these splines at once but if you go ahead and select the new spline you will see how you can move individually now if you um, go ahead and hold shift and then move them sorry out then move it you will see that it will create a new uh, point a new spline point so you can go ahead and uh, start modifying the shape even more to add more detail into it and how you really want it to, to look like okay so we can start even moving it a bit there we go and we have like different mountains and you can see so there we go you can start getting the shape of your mountain as you would like to have it and then we have different options here as you can see 
so first of all we have the uh blend mode etc you can change this into be a uh, minimum so we'll go from the maximum point on your last game to the minimum it's like a, a pawn kind of you can say uh and then uh, the other way around to the maximum and then it will be additives kind of the same we just add on top of it but i recommend just leaving it in alpha blend and chain thing you can also invert the shape so uh the whole landscape or orient in the way that the um, <laughs> the spline will be kind of the it's just inverting everything you know like but yeah basically inverting everything there's not really another way to explain this and you can see that we get a really cool result but of course you can play with the settings to uh, get what you want okay so now we have a bunch more of settings over here so for example in the fall off we can start changing the angle to be more for example i don't know 90 degrees and you will see that now we have a perfect straight line into the infinity kind of <laughs> so you can play with those settings of course we want to play around with this and then you can get kind of the height of the mountain kind of so yeah i think a 60 is kind of a good point for us and then uh, you can also change the width and stuff um but yeah that's not really what we want okay so just control z there we go so you can also change the follow width of how um kind of yeah how big it's gonna be the, the interpolation kind of and then we can have some offsets over here as you can see and then also we can add a set offset so for example put a hundred uh well a thousand uh you can see that or oh, i don't know put ten thousand there but anyway we have a now huge mountain you know what i mean but you can play with those settings as you would like now um we can also change directly the material over here so for example you can place another one but yeah, yeah i recommend you leaving that as it is so we're gonna go into effects and you will see that we have a few options over here so the first one i'm gonna explain is the coral noise so in here you can see that we have different values over here so this will just make it look much more interesting so we get for example the core one i start increasing this you will see that we start getting some kind of deformations in yeah exactly what we want uh, cool noises okay and it will just make the mountain much much more interesting and much more precisely generated like more random and like more natural looking basically so you can just start playing with this and now you have different values for example the tiling to make it look uh you know with more erosion or whatever and then you have the second curl and yeah you can just start playing with those settings to get you what you want now blurring it is just smoothing everything out as you can kind of see it's just smooth everything down it kind of blurs it yeah like it literally uh, says the name anyway i don't really like it uh, for this uh, example here but for another example you can go ahead and use it of course now we have also for example different types of smooth blending displacement but uh, i will not cover in this video because I'm, i really think they're gonna use them a lot uh, and a lot of things just experimenting with a lot of these values to get what you want okay so now that we have covered a bit of the normal uh splying system of the landmass to create mountains and stuff Let's go ahead and just apply the procedural material into the whole landscape. So we can have you say, yeah, procedural um, landscape, like I just said. So let's go ahead and go back into landscape mode. I'm gonna go into scope, blueprint, and then again, we're gonna select a blueprint brush. So and I guess it's gonna be the uh, material only. And again, we're gonna go ahead and click in the landscape. Now you will see some things over here. So first of all, uh, the mountain kind of went, okay, don't worry, we'll recover it in a second. And then another thing is that, well, it added some bumps and stuff, but it's only, um, you know, in, in a few squares over here, and we cannot really do anything. It's just like there, but, you know, it, it looks very bad. Well, we can go back into selection mode, select again this, and then I'm gonna uh, change the name of this into uh, well, landscape material brush okay so we can have it a bit more organized okay there you go so the thing that we have to change over here is go up here and now we can see the brush material that's very important and again like i said before go into settings and make sure they have show engine content and show plugin content enabled if not you will not see any of these uh, brushes so now we have a whole variety of brushes that you can use now the thing is just experimenting with it i mean i didn't really know what they did but we just placing them and see what they do you can just get the idea so for example we just add a simple noise uh, material well brush material into here so for example this uh j noise 01 you see that well nothing happened what is happening well the thing is that uh it has added a material but it's very 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 uh 
kind of sm the bumps are not really noticeable okay so we can have some more options over here for example tiling we can increase this into 10 and now you can see that we have some more bumps and stuff and it's already looking really cool then you can change the elevation scale to for example 3000 and now we have incredible mountains and stuff we're gonna change the octaves into two and now it smoothed everything more or uh, you know the other way around go ahead and increase it into 10 and then we have more sharp um looking mountains so yeah all of this is just going ahead and experimenting with it i, be I believe there's an island noise yeah um but it, i think it doesn't do anything at all really yeah uh, okay the voice is a normal brush okay anyway you can go ahead and play with the settings to get what you want and now of course if you have a material you can just go and uh, assign it into here so for example in my case i have a desert uh, material over here so let me go ahead and add it and now you can see how it looks kind of and, and of course uh you know <laughs> it's it doesn't have any more than just a simple texture but you can see oh i have also like wind moving this is just test i was doing in this um in this uh project too but yeah you can see how you can start making your levels look much much better with this and now you will be like wow where, where did this go where's my mountain um it, it went ahead and disappeared well if you go into the landscape mode you can see the different blueprint brushes and if i go and uh toggle the material over here you will see that it disappear the thing is that the 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 material the mountain brush is on top of the uh, brush so we can just move it on top and there we go you will see now now we actually have it over here so yes basically just a hierarchical um, system kind of and you can see that i can move it and stuff and there we go you can see how the mountain is looking so yeah you can play with the settings to get what you want and the thing over here the most important thing on landmass is that um it's basically non-destructive so if i were to go ahead and get rid of this mountain over here and say yes you will see that the landscape is exactly the same it's like if it was no mountain there before and the thing is that it's just on top of it it's just adding things on top of it so the the, the shapes will keep the same so that's a difference from manually painting and stuff you know uh this is just much different but yeah guys i hope this tutorial was helpful and you found it useful if so i really appreciate it. you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out and now yes with all said bye bye